Hello everyone. We are Seam Hunters, leading cybersecurity trainers and certification providers around the globe. We have 11 plus certified instructor team to deliver cybersecurity courses and soft trainings. We are authorized partners of EC Council, CompTIA, certifications and trainings. Ethical hacking is a globally recognized credential in the cybersecurity industry. In today's digital age, cybersecurity threats are becoming increasingly sophisticated and frequent. So, this equips professionals with the tools and techniques necessary to identify and mitigate these threats, making them valuable assets to organization seeking to protect their sensitive data and system. Now, I'll brief you about the complete Kali Linux command line and shell scripting. As a cybersecurity analyst, it is important to know about the infrastructure before working on it. So let us see about the main topics which are covered here. That is Kali Linux directories and services in Linux, servers used in Linux, communication and filter commands used in Linux, shell scripting and automate pen testing. Then now let's see about the major areas where this plays a crucial role. The first one is footprinting and reconnaissance. It is used to gather information about the target network or organization. It includes command line utilities, firebug, metasploit and HP track. The next one is network pen testing. That is, it is used to evaluate the security of a computer by identifying vulnerabilities. It uses Nmap, Angry IP Scanner, HPing3, Wireshark and four other tools. The third one is Vulnerability Assessment. It is used for identifying, quantifying and prioritizing security vulnerabilities. It uses Web, Network, Wireless and Cloud. So it works by using Nessus, Burpsuit, OWASP, Zap, Proxy, and 10 plus other tools. Enumeration. Evaluating and identifying potential vulnerabilities like port scanning, banner grabbing, and service identification. So it uses DNS, NetBIOS, LDAP, SNMP, Windows, and Unix. System hacking. Practice of exploiting vulnerabilities in computer system is system hacking. It is by using loft track, steganography, and 10 plus other labs. Next is malware threats. Significant risk to personal security as they can result in stealing of personal information. It includes Trojans, NGRAT, Netcat, wires, worms, backdoors, remote hacking cryptos, and ransomware. Now it continues with sniffing. Sniffing is a practice of capturing packets of data as they are transmitted over a network. So it uses Wireshark, Network Analyzer, Cane Enable, XARP, and Switch Based. Social Engineering. Technique used to exploit human psychology and gain access to sensitive information. It is done by phishing, wishing, whaling, and spear phishing. Next is DOS and DDoS. Denial of service is an attempt to make a server unavailable to users by flooding with a request package. This is performed by single attacker using one computer device. Whereas DDoS, that is distributed denial of service attack, is by multiple attackers using multiple computers or devices. Next is session hijacking. By taking over a user's session, the attacker can impersonate the user and perform actions on their behalf, such as making purchases or changing settings, etc. So it is done in application level and network level. Next one is evading IDS, firewalls and honeypots. Intrusion detection systems, firewalls and honeypots are commonly used to detect and monitor network traffic. So these tools can identify and alert security teams to potential threats such as malware or unauthorized access attempts. Hacking web servers 
So attackers gain unauthorized access into web servers using vulnerabilities and then later accessing that hosted applications and databases. Web applications. Web applications are hacked using SQL or XSS and this is solved by OWASP top 10 by identifying top 10 vulnerabilities. And then SQL injections. We'll see types of SQL injections in this and how to exploit them uh, both manually and automated hacking wireless networks. Here we'll see how to exploit home-based and enterprise-based wireless networks. Hacking Android and iOS. Next is cloud computing. Here we'll see about how the cloud instances and how to secure and how to exploit them. And at last, that is cryptography. Here we'll be seeing about encryptions, decryptions. There are many reasons why you have to choose this course. This course is designed by certified industrial expert that is Gopi Pakanati. And it covers the major areas with real-time tools and techniques. It helps us to understand the latest cyber threats and enterprise level tools. In each module, we'll provide you with the resources such as PDFs or tools or documentations, which are whatever required for this lab. And then this course contains 290 plus videos, which includes labs and 26 plus hours of learning experience. So I hope you have got an idea about this course and all the best and please start learning this course. Thank you.